Hello everyone, it's Dunmesh4. Welcome back to some more Omnifactory. Today, we are going to focus on the tier, the fourth and final tier five circuit. Should be an easy goal to reach to start off with. We have the assembler capable of doing 10,000 EU per tick. I think it does 32,000, uh, as opposed to this one, which does 8,000. Got it all hooked up here. I'm gonna have to upgrade power again. Actually, I'll probably I had a better idea, which was to just take this and put it over here so I can just have like a high voltage area. Maybe actually I can like, it's actually a really big building. I can use like a nearby building and do high voltage stuff there just so I don't have to repower everything, like rerun all the power lines because that'd be the worst. I'll figure something out because I don't, I don't want to have to repower things. I think end steel is more than enough for... Everything we're doing, 32k per side, plenty. But this is 32k EU, which is four times. We'll be fine for now. Anyway, to start things off, we need a green lens. And with the green lens, we need to make some crystal CPUs um, with a actually really high voltage laser engraver. We actually need a, a laser engraver 4, so an IV one. Which is fine. Uh, I need to move all this down one so I have space on the IV line. Uh, okay. And then we need the engraved crystal chips, which is a blast furnace with helium, 10 emerald plates, and the exquisite emeralds, which we got from uh, something. What would we use for this? It was a tier 3 micro miner with a gemstone sensor to get 32 exquisite emeralds, which will do 320 of these boards. Yeah, because 10 each. It also takes helium. We got helium. So I'm going to try to set this up to auto craft before we even begin. Actually, do I have the power for it? This takes five, 500k, 5,000k at 480 EU per tick. Do I have 5,000k? At my auto crafting furnace. No. I have 36. So I'll need to upgrade that to something that does 5,000, which is really only the HSSG does that. Darn. We're just going to use this for right now. Got oh, it's a signal tank. 15 buckets of helium. Do this three times. Oh, I need the emerald plates. That's right. Huh. There it goes. Pretty quick. There's 10 engraved crystal chips. These only make the crystal CPUs. All right, that, that makes this pretty easy. But the crystal CPUs can also be made into crystal SOCs, which make a lot more T5 circuits. Wow. But we do have to do the actual engraving first. We get the little tiny black smudge on the thing. Cool. Well, that was easy. <laughs> Done. Made him. Next. Uh, also, according to the book, which I did confirm, it takes a better assembly machine to make the better ones. So we're at the 32K right now. This one takes 86K, which is the ZPM. And that's... It's the next one, but his assembly machines are big leaps. Two pistons is 41 HSSG. Whew. That's a bunch. All right, now that we got these fancy CPUs, it's time to use them. We're going to make the tier five micro miner. That's the goal. Uh, specifically, I don't think we need any of this. We're going to do this, I believe. I'm going to check through and make sure there's like nothing here that we actually need. Uh, but I don't think there is. Some of these, I don't know what it is. But the big thing we need is, is Naquada. Um, because Naquada is used to make... Uh, I think, just Naquada wire. 
two X wire, Necrotic coil blocks, which gives us a seven two zero zero K furnace. And we definitely need that. We need more furnace power already. So to do this, we need to make iridium heavy plating, specifically uh, 12 iridium heavy plating. And that takes a LUV compressor at 1500 EU per tick. You got to make one of these. So yeah, that takes these electric pistons, which took the assembly line and also some tier six circuits, which you now make relatively easily. Quest done. Drop that down. Uh, and now we need 24 iridium. We can press nice and fast and then much slower into the heavy plating for the miner. I haven't looked at anything else this needs, so let's do that now. Um, you need signalum heavy plating we can do. Vibrant thrusters. I don't think I have auto crafting for this. Let's look. Thrusters. No, we got energetic thrusters, but not vibrant thrusters. I'll put that in as a recipe. A fission reactor port. Fun, because it takes a fission controller. That's fun. That takes uh, all this stuff. Yttrium barium cuprate. We've done this before. We made the fission reactor, but it was definitely not easy. So the thing we're behind on that I haven't been doing because I didn't really want to yet is extended auto crafting, um, automated extended crafting. Yeah. So cr crafting these like seven by seven recipes with ME because it can't do that. Uh, so look at this packaged auto is an add on for Applied logistics Two. It allows you to automate extended crafting recipes. Uh, so you still in patterns, but delimited to nine stacks of items. Yep. So this is a, it's package auto stores recipes in package recipe holders. These things, um, each holder can store up to 20 different recipes and they're encoded in the passage package recipe encoder. Uh, you'll need two identically encoded holders. The following machines work together. Okay. Let me read through this real quick, because I'm already confused. Okay, so what it looks like, just just how, how I'm reading this, um, this doesn't actually do the crafting. It takes the fancy recipes and, like, squishes them down into chunks of the recipe, and those chunks of the recipe get auto-crafted. Then you extract those chunks back out or something. I don't know. We're going to make these and see what happens. Um, hopefully it's not that bad. All right. I've done some experimenting in a creative world. I still really don't know what's going on. <laughs> I think I have a general idea, but I also think we're missing a step because I do think we're missing something. But there is another quest in this line. So look at that. The automated extended crafting. Now that you have osmium and iridium from the tier 4 microminer, you can begin automated automating extending crafting recipes. Now it's possible to use automation interfaces. You have access to something vastly better. I don't know what automation interfaces are. Um, packaged extending crafting. Three unpackers and three packers. Oh, one for each, I guess. Oh, that's so many package recipe holders. Beginning link to craft one of each extended package crafter. Put an unpackager on top of each one and a packager on top of each unpackager. These are all AE2 devices. You need to connect them all to an ME network. Okay. We'll do that first. How expensive are these? Uh, these are in package X crafting. Any one of these. Automation interface. Elite catalyst. It's a lot of catalysts. I'll probably auto-craft those. Um, ultimate components. Uh, I don't think we needed the... Any of those. It's a combination one, which is probably like all of them in one. I don't know why it's not making us do that. Three unpackers and three packers, which is a bunch. I mean, I have, I have one of each. Not quite enough. I don't think I have these. I do have those. Done? Question mark? A. Hey. Alright, so let's try to figure this out. I'll do it on this floor, because this is the standard crafting floor, I guess. Um, 
leave a space in the back. So we have one, two, and three. One, two, three. They have power needs. I'm not sure if we actually need to fill the power needs or if the ME system fills the power needs. The ME system fills the power needs, okay. Cool. So with this, we do, what? Um, unpacker on top of that, then packager on top of the unpacker. So packager on top and unpacker. So do this, 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 and then this, 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 in and out. And they also need their cables for these towers. And then we'll do recipe encoder right here, which doesn't need anything. Look how fun this is. All right. Uh, right click the package recipe encoder, and you should see a button saying processing. This button cycles through recipe types, including the various extended craft tables. Hold this recipe encoded in pairs, one for the package, one for the unpackager. Select the appropriate table for the recipe. Look up the recipe, press plus to fill it in. Two holders in the top left slot, and press save to encode it to both of them. Now you can do it two at once. Done everything correctly, you should see the item appear in your crafting terminal. It's found an unpackager with crafters. You don't use all of them. It's also possible to add more unpackers with crafters. All right, so we were gonna try something. Something that's super annoying to craft, and that is the crystalline, the crystal tine ingot. Takes all this stuff, mainly the nether stars, which have to be crafted into nuggets. I believe I don't have nether star nuggets auto crafted. Let me do that first. So, need the elite package one. We'll take two of these, put them in here. So, you have all of these recipe slots. You have 20 of them. We'll change this to elite. Go here, go here, hit plus. That does that. Hit save, and have a little blue dot. Come into here, put one in there, and put one in there. Okay, got it so far. So now there's the recipe package. We're going to do this. I'm going to say make five. Um, it's got to craft some nether stars, everything else that's available. It's got to do the packages, I guess. It says it's doing it. It says it already made one. It did make one. Oh, it's going. Look at that. I guess this puts it in there. This is like, give me the stuff. I'll put it in a package. This is like, give me the package. I'll put it in the crafter. I think that's how it's working. Sick. Need a carrot after that one. Okay, I think I got everything. I think I got everything. And I tried as I went to auto craft whatever I could. So most of this should be at least somewhat auto craftable now to the point where if I put it in, it's not going to yell at me right away. It'll yell at me like a few steps down. Regardless. Uh, we have the better mining laser down here. We got a guidance computer. We got a quantum chest. We got thrusters. We got um, cores, two signalum cores. We have EV field generators. We have the fission controller, which was a fun one to autocraft. I didn't do the fission reactor port. That should be pretty easy, though. Fission reactor port. That's everything. I think that's everything. Wow. Okay. Can I do it from memory? Probably not. Oh, wow. I probably cannot. Uh, port, controller, chest, 
laser. All right. Two were up here. Two cores, I think, were here. And these were here. No idea where any of these went, though. So I'm going to guess and be very wrong. That's okay. Uh, yeah. Woo. Now, the it, orange wings on a larger white triangle. Okay. So this, this, and there. Now, what I mess up? Uh, cores above, fields above core. There it is. The iridium plated micro minor tier five. This is what I want. I want the Naquata. Is that something I absolutely cannot get? And something we definitely need going forward. I think if I even look at the quest book, the next step is Naquata. Get some. It's important. I've looked. It is important. So we're going to do that one. I forgot it makes two. We got double fuel. Uh, and we need 16 quantum flux. It goes right into here. I think. What is the power use? I want to make sure we got that. It uses 30 million FE at 3,000 FE per tick. We are using end steel conduits, which are 32,000 FE per tick. It uses 30 million. We have 26.2, so it pretty much has all the energy it should need stored. So this is medium. This is medium. There it goes. It's processing away. How is power? Power is stable. Doesn't care. There it is. Here goes our loot. Naquada dust. Only way to get it is, I guess, ore's a thing, but I don't believe there's any way to get this ore, like any of it. So, you use this. Four stacks. I don't know how long it's going to last us, but we got it. And I think this is just like, no, you mix it. Oh, you just, you smelt it. They're like, yeah, you got, you got what you need. You, you don't need to blast furnace this one. There we go. And that we should also get a quest for the material. Uh, an aquatic oil box, which require the wires. I think this is my best wire mill. Cool, cool. Do this and this. Go over here. Throw it in. I don't think it matters which. No, it's the one that's eight. Which of these is eight? That's eight. Throw it in these. Aquatic coil blocks. You can get rid of this ugly puke green and move it onto the ME system side where it can actually be used. Get the nice... Ooh, I like that one. That's a good color. Oops. Did you get them all? There you go. 7,200k. 7, we can now make Enderium ingots. Endurium blend, Puma mana, needs 6400. That's what it's going to tell us to do next. All right, this, stuff, this stuff doesn't seem that bad. Lead, platinum, osmium, resident clathrate, which we actually have been making a ton of for pulsating dust, uh, and blue steel, which is four black steel, two regular steel, brass, and oh, what's rose gold? Rose gold. Four gold and a copper. Ha. Ah. Have all the things. Stack of blue steel. Everything else we should have. So. Yeah. Wow. That's a bunch. Um, and it takes... 250 primal mana, which is primal mana. Uh, mana. Make me 128. No problem. 
Bloop. And sploosh. So this takes a very long time. 16 nubby. A, bu a bunch of minutes. And 120 EU per tick. But we have more than that. We have 1630, 384. We. Actually, that's that's kind of fine. Uh, a big thing with Enderium, though, a big reason I want it, like, soon, solar panels. The next solar panel upgrade is very good. It's the last real good one, where we take two panels that are 2k, and make four panels that are 8k. So, it's like eight times power production, which is, it's very good. And we'll probably upgrade the, the power on this to make it run even faster at that point. That was just me stalling. That's future plans. We're waiting for this to output so we can get our first Enderium. There's 10% left. How long was that? I don't know. I'd have to look back at the recording. It's like a minute, though. Yay! Uh, it's an important material. Get a lot of it. Carries the most stuff. Provides more slots. That's, that's what we need for this tier 6. Uh, what do we actually get from tier 6? Because we kind of have two paths to go down now. We can go tier 6, right? Or we can start doing fancier circuits and head towards uh, the ZPM assembling machine. Because we have the ability to do ZPM now. ZPM is iridium as the base material. Right? Iridium plates. And naquada as its cable of choice. The only thing is you need polytetrafluoroethylene, which apparently is a Teflon, according to the press book. Uh, so we got to figure out how to make Teflon, which apparently tetrafluoroethylene, uh, which is uh, hydrofluoric acid and chloroform. You don't get much. Whew, it's been a busy one. So busy I don't even remember what we were doing last. I remember what our goal was though. Our goal was solar panels. Getting up to the solar panels 8. We currently have 32 solar panels 7, which produces us 32? Yeah, 64k RF per tick. Uh, when you craft this, we'll go up to 64 solar panels 8, which will produce more than that. <laughs> what, five, 500k? A lot. A lot of power. Um, it's an expensive recipe, though. Uh, the most expensive part, believe it or not, is not actually the block of Enderium. That that was actually pretty easy. Uh, all that Enderium I put in finished, I even made another stack. Uh, I got three stacks of Enderium ready to go. The hard part is these photovoltaic cells on top. So we're going to craft 64 of these. So we have to do this recipe 16 times. So we need 48 photovoltaic cell sixes. You craft them in patches of six. So you need to craft this recipe eight times so we need 48 enriched scenarium plates and uh 16 eight times 24 cell fives uh it's a lot to think about but uh i put them in as crafting recipes so at the very least even though it's not going to actually do the crafting because there's a lot of steps it's missing if i put in 48 which is how many we need it'll tell me what i need to make it'll do the math which is really nice. Um, so the big things we need, we need some scenarium, and then we need 192 neptunium, some lenses, some nail copper, and 144 reinforced iridium alloy. So the reinforced iridium alloy, if you remember from before, uh, you get the iridium alloy ingot and you implosion compress it. Four iridium and four tungsten each. We need 144 of them. That's 512 iridium and 512 tungsten. I've been busy. <laughs> we have 724 iridium and 709 tungsten. So if I come in here and have it make 144 of these, 576 actually, it has everything it needs to make those. It's going to take a long time because it's a lot of compressing it has to do, but it has everything it needs to make those. It's going to start filling up these compressors with iridium now. Now we need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And there's no auto-feeding for this, so... 
Pretty much just got to be manual. That took like two hours. <laughs> 100 seconds each. Uh. Is that everything? 48. Not 148. Oh, that's it. Go. Dang. Okay. Whew. 48 photos of 48 photovoltaic cell sixes. So we got these. Um, we need osmiridium plates. We're crafting this 16 times. So I need 32 osmiridium plates. I think we're good. I need to make the enderium blocks. That's right. I need 16. In theory, I have enough. Mm. Got enough. So I got 40 left. Okay, so I got the nearing blocks. Got the solar pan. About to get the solar panels. I think that's. I think that's everything. Just hesitantly. Tearing this out. And we have to run, upgrade the cables because. These produce way more power than these cables are going to support. So I made some lumium. Uh, 32. So, one, two, one, two, there, there, and there. Did that make more than I was expecting? No, I think that's right. I think that's everything I was expecting. It still feels like a lot, though. No, that definitely is more than I was expecting. No, we're going to craft it. No, that's right. We're going to craft it 16 times, so we're going to get 64. Cool. Um, so we have these lumium cables. Lumium energy conduits. Let's swap out the end steel ones here. Put these in. Let's put these bad boys in. It's deep green. It's a lot of power. <laughs> it's a lot of power. So then for every group of 16, we need a lumium connection point on this. So we have the end steel ones for output. Pull from the, the thing here. But to actually get the power in from the panels, we need more connection points. So we're going to do... One, two, three, four. What are we at? It's just going to be full as soon as I touch this. <laughs> yeah, it's full. I, I say it over and over again, and then I continue to prove myself wrong. But I don't think we're going to have to worry about power for a little bit longer now. And look how fast Signalum processes now. Upgraded it to LUV. 65536 EU per tick, which is over 200,000 RF per tick. But that's going to have to do it for this episode. We have power now. I have had no concerns about power. It has not gone down. We, For, for the time being, we have zero power concerns at all whereas before we had some power concerns i couldn't really run too many machines at once but now i kind of been upgrading everything and we're we're good so next time going into the quest book here we're going to be going towards the tier six micro miner and or draconium ingots either both or one either way that's what we're doing we're slowly progressing towards this bottom right and we're going to get there soon. All right, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.